Hey everybody, Andy Tuttle here with the Tuttle Group and another market update. Now look, bond markets and the interest rates had another rough week last week. All right, we saw rates tick up about another eighth of a percent. Don't worry, there's some light at the end of the tunnel here, so stay with me. But we do need to understand the market that we're in. Now, frankly, I was shocked. We did see some revisions on the big uh, jobs report and several of the other reports that came out that I didn't think we were going to see until after the election. Uh, but we did see those, and we had one of the worst jobs reports on record. 12,000 jobs created, and without the 40,000 in government jobs, we would have had a negative jobs report. Plus, there were revisions down for the previous month. So it was a very weak jobs report. Normally, we would see interest rates improve on that, but we didn't, probably because there's a lot of volatility. This is election week, right? There's a lot of concern out there, and markets hate uncertainty. So they don't know which way to go. And we're probably going to continue to see that until we see the final results from the election, with which uh, many people uh, are saying we're not going to find out on, on uh, election night. So that means you're going to still continue to see wild swings uh, until that gets settled out in both markets, stocks and bond markets. Okay. Uh, also this week, we've got the Fed meeting and decision on the Fed rate policy. The last few months, it has been in the books that they're going to cut the rates another quarter percent at this meeting. Fed doesn't like uncertainty either. So it is very doubtful that they're going to change their uh, decision. And they're probably just going to go ahead and reduce it a quarter of a percent. That doesn't mean mortgage interest rates are going to go lower. Remember, in September, they dropped at a half percent and rates have gone up since then and only up. So uh, we just got to remember we're going to be in a little bit of a market where there's going to be a lot of wild swings until everything settle, settles out. That's okay. Hang in there. All right. We're going to get through this together and you're going to be all right. Uh, a couple of things that are good for you if you're looking to buy a home. Active listings are up 29 percent. means more inventory on the market. And there are six states that have higher inventory than uh, than 2019, right? So inventory that was pre-2019, including Texas, we're up about 13% in inventory than we were in 2019. What does that mean for you? It just means you may have some leverage here, right? You've got great realtors. They're going to be great negotiators and you need to take advantage of that. Don't overpay in this market. And remember the inflation buster program with 2% in seller concessions, you can get a 2% below market rate the first year and a 1% below market rate the second year. I got a whole video deep dive on this. You can watch it. The link should be in the description below. Uh, but, this is the time to make sure you're negotiating right and not overpaying. Yes, it's going to be a bumpy ride, but with a great team, a great strategy, you can win in any markets. You can win here, and we're only a phone call away if you need us or have questions. So hang tight, hang in there. Happy hunting out there. Remember to be the buffalo. All right. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.